Well, hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about doing some pixel art in Pico 8. It can be pretty challenging because generally you'll work with eight by eight tiles, eight by eight sprites, and you can draw 16 by 16, but it is really nice just to use the eight by eight size. And there are a few tricks kind of along the way. So we're gonna be making all of the elements to make a map kind of like this, and I hope it's helpful. So here in the sprite editor of Pico 8, we have all of our colors here. I can select a color to draw with, and I can select a sprite to draw on down here in this lower section. So let's just start here. You can really pick any of these as long as it kind of makes sense to you. And we'll just start with the ground tiles, just filling this with green. Okay, that'll be our first tile. And these will all be on a background of green. Now let's make a little bit of grass. A great way to draw grass in really low resolution is just to pick a different green, and just draw a couple of lines like this, maybe something like that. That works pretty well. And now in the map editor, we can take our ground tile and I'll just pick the fill bucket and fill this in. I'll go to full screen mode and fill in the rest of this. We're just gonna fill in this screen today. Then we can take our grass. I'll just go back to draw mode and we can just kind of randomly put some grass here. One little tip is if you right click on a tile, that's kind of like color picking that tile so you can draw with that. You can right click here and just draw some random grass just to kind of break this up. Okay, nice start. Now let's mix this up a little bit and let's add a rock. I like these kind of just stepping stone rocks. Really easy way to do that is just to draw kind of a gray blob like this and take a dark gray and just put it on the edge like that. So it looks like kind of a flat stone that's just laying on the ground. And these look really nice. So I can just go here and add a couple of these stones. I can make a little walkway if I want to. Pretty cool, right? Super easy. Now let's add sort of a little decoration stone. So maybe a couple little pebble things, something like that. We can kind of do the same thing. And we'll just throw these here and there just to kind of break things up a little bit. That's nice. Now what about a big boulder? Let's go ahead and make a big boulder. So we'll take this green background here. And if we want the rock to kind of be sticking up and feel like it has, you know, form and it's not just kind of flat on the ground, we can kind of make it bigger, first of all, like this. And let's add a little bit of shading here. What I like to do is pick a direction where the light is coming from. And so you can imagine if this rock is round, if the light's coming from the upper right, it's gonna be lighter kind of here on this upper right, and it's gonna be darker in the lower left corner. And so we can take this dark gray and just kind of start filling in that lower left corner a little bit. That works, but I feel like this transition's a little harsh. And so I like to take this purple and just kind of put that in between the dark gray and the light gray and kind of maybe do something like that. And now we have a little bit of lighting. So we can switch over here and add a couple of little rocks. Yeah, and it looks like kind of a big boulder kind of sitting there. Yeah, that's nice. Let's do some other natural things, maybe like a tree. And you can draw trees just so many ways, but if we wanna draw just a simple eight by eight tree, we can start with the trunk down here and we'll just add, just maybe do something like this, add kind of a taller little tree like this. And again, we can kind of think about the lighting, kind of make it a little bit more bright on the sort of upper right side, something like that. There we go. So now we can throw a tree in here a little forest. Nice. And one thing that we can do is we can put outlines on things. So this is all kind of very flat, no outline sort of art. And sometimes it can be nice to have a little outline. So I like to just put a dark outline around things. Something maybe like that. And that kind of helps the tree stand out a little bit. I think that looks pretty nice. It helps that, that kind of green highlight not clash so much with the ground. And I like to put that dark outline on anything that kind of sticks up, right? And so if this rock sticks up, we could do an outline on the rock like that. But I don't want to put it on the ground because this is touching the ground. There's not like a lot of space in between the rock and the ground. So now it kind of looks more like it's connected to the ground, which is kind of nice depending on the style you're going for. Let's do a couple more kind of natural decoration things. Maybe let's make a flower. So really simple little flower, kind of like the ground flowers. You can just make a little cross, put a little yellow here, or maybe this kind of darker yellow. And we'll just kind of add some vines, this kind of thing. Maybe add another one right here. Yeah, 
yeah, that looks kind of nice. Now I can just kind of add these around. Have little flowers. Yeah, looking peaceful. Maybe we want to do something like add a stump. I always like to add stumps out in the forest. So we make a little stump like this. And again, maybe we'll shade it. Add a little top to it. Again, add a little bit of a outline. Putting this kind of light tan up at the top. Make it seem like, you know, the stump, stump was cut out and the light's hitting that top face. Put a couple stumps here. Yeah. Maybe we'll just copy and paste these flowers. I can just select this and hit Control C. Go to another tile and hit Control V. And maybe we'll just switch out these white flowers for blue flowers. And we can put those in. Just kind of break things up a little bit. Yeah, looking nice. All right, now maybe let's do some non-natural things, some man-made things. I always love a good fence. And so we're gonna make the fence sort of like the tree stump, and it's just gonna be a series of poles. So here we have the kind of top face of a fence pole, and then we'll have this kind of going down like that. And you could build a whole tile set where, you know, this fence piece kind of extends out there and then connects with something like this. I can even just flip this real quick by just hitting F on the keyboard. And so now these kind of connect to each other, but you'll have to draw like nine different sprites to get your fence working. And it kind of takes a long time to place the tiles as well. And so what I've done a lot lately is just make the poles for the fence. And then I can just draw the fence like this, make a little fence. And guess what? It reads just fine. Like everybody knows that's a fence, totally works. Of course, if we want this to match our style, we can put a little bit of a outline on it. I'm just outlining it just like that. Looks good. Yeah, so there's our fence. One thing I also like to do with outlines is you can use a different color outline for kind of the top face of things. And so I can make this just a little bit lighter. And so even though it's a dark outline, it also kind of gives a hint to this being a top face, which I think is a pretty neat idea. And so that just gives it a little bit more refinement. Pretty nice. We could do the same thing for the stump. We could even do this for the rock. Yeah, just make things, makes it look a little nicer. It gives it a little bit more kind of lighting cues because you want to take everything you can get on an eight by eight sprite, right? Now let's do one more thing. Let's do like a little treasure chest. So again, I'll just start on green and we'll start with kind of a brown side and we're going to make this pretty big. In fact, we're gonna make this kind of as big as this tile just about. And when you're thinking of something that's 3D, again, just like the stump, we'd have the top face of this treasure chest, and maybe it'd be something like that. We'd have the top and the side. Let's do an outline around this, like this. Maybe we want the top to be like that. Maybe we even want this treasure chest to be kind of golden on top. We could do that. And what I like to do is add a little line like this. And that kind of just highlights the little edge of the box. Just gives it a little bit of lighting. That's pretty nice. And then maybe we have kind of some straps on this box. We could do something maybe like this. Or we have a couple straps on it. See, it looks like a little treasure chest. Isn't that cool? Can add a little lock like that. And so this would be like a closed treasure chest, right? See how it looks. Yeah, it's a little brighter than the other tiles, something you might want to go and check out. Now let's make an open version of it. Hit Control C, Control V. And I think what we'll do is just take this and bring this down a little bit. We'll keep some green at the top so that we have a little bit of space to kind of open up this box. Let's think about what this would look like if it were open. Let's go ahead and just and this at the edge right here, and think about kind of the top side of the box. And then down in the box, maybe it's purple. This is inside of the box. Okay, so that's like the box without the top, right? But if we have the top that kind of swings open, then what we're actually gonna have is this edge right here. So vertical edges are gonna be darker, and the top edge is going to be this kind of dark gray. And so it already looks like this is kind of swung open, right? But we want this to be full of gold. 
So let's make a little pile of gold here in the box. It's nice. And we'll just kind of add some sparkles here. So now we open up the box and there's gold inside. Yeah. Maybe we'll add a little purple kind of around this just to give it a little bit of shading. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. That works well. Open it up and there's some gold. So now here in context, our character goes over to the chest, opens it up, and there's gold inside. Oh, baby. And we can close it. Chunk. <laughs> so there we go. There's like a whole tile set that we can use to kind of make this little adventure game forest environment so much fun. Hey, if you want more pixel art in Pico videos, let me know. This was super fun. I'm making all kinds of Pico 8 game development videos here in the near future. So consider subscribing if you want more of that. And I hope you have a super great day.